welcome to a week in my life. It is going to be an eventful week, so uh, get ready. Per usual, I had to come here and narrate a little bit because sometimes I just grab the camera, I just film, and then I don't have an intro or I'm looking a little frumpy or whatever it could be, and I'm just like, oh, I'll do it later, and then I don't do it. So here we are. Hello, my name is Stacey. If you did it, I know I should have probably started with that. I hope that you're having an amazing day. Car just parked right next to me, so it's gonna be a little awkward. So I am here in the flesh to narrate a few of the things. It should make sense if you don't see me, and if not, then just know this is part of my week. I have a few things on Poshmark and I got an order. Needless to say, I was so excited to start packaging it up. There's just something about getting an order, even though Poshmark, you take a little two months, but I shouldn't complain, at least I'm getting something right. It's exciting to get the order to see what they ordered to then start packaging it up. I like to write little thank yous and include them in there. If you've been around for a long time, then you know that I worked at Abercrombie Kids, so we had a discount and I used to wear Abercrombie all the time. So I racked up a lot of clothes, things that I didn't even use. I've had this tank for years. Lo and behold, it got sold and it got sent out. The process of just packaging things, just it just just lights up my heart it's just so much fun to me i don't know <laughs> vlogs ago i went to san diego I, what did i say like that and while i was driving there i noticed that my tpms sensor was on and i was like that's strange my uncle not only changed out the brakes in my car but checked my tires filled them up with air so i was good to go but i was like you know what it was rainy and cold and i have been told that sometimes the tires will get a little bit lower and the tpms sensors are just a little bit sensitive you know like i can be sometimes so i wrote it off as that got there fine got home safely on the road though i did see a few cars in front of me a whole tire just roll off into the side and i was like whoa those two cars that were like driving right there got so lucky that they didn't hit it it was like a tumbleweed but with a tire i just prayed for them and wished them luck and kept driving and just ahead of that there was a car that had the whole entire wheel come off i mentioned that because in my head at that moment i was like wow like i have had a tire explode before it was like one of my worst fears and it happened and so it's kind of the thing of like the law of attraction when you manifest these things and you're not really thinking about it it's like a one and done kind of thing and it happens because you get into that feeling anyway i had a feeling like that where it was like i hope it is that my tire is low and it's not that i got a nail or anything or i have a flat right but thankfully i got there safely I was there safely the whole entire time. I didn't even want to check my tires, which I probably should have. I put a little too much lip gloss on and I ate it. But it's good. It's tasty. Whoever kisses me, you're going to love it. You're going to love the taste. I'm starting to blush. Why am I blushing? Oh my God. Back to the freaking tire story. So anyway, a few days later, we were going to go take the little kitten to a woman who rescues all types of cats, all situations. And as I'm driving out, something just wasn't right. Something felt odd. I had to roll down the window and it was sounding a little flat. So at the end of the street, I kind of got out. I looked and it was flat. All along from my driveway to the end of the street, there was streaks of my tire just dragging along. So this is what it looked like. Gotta get that fixed now. And yeah. So that's coming up. Then after so many years, I met up with a high school friend, my friend, Eric. If you're watching this, Eric, hello, Eric. It was a really nice time. It's crazy that so many years can pass by and you can meet up again. And perhaps you guys are both in different places in your life, but you remember all the old times and you know, nostalgia is everything, right? It's it's so sweet to go back in those moments. There was a lot of that. There's a lot of catching up and, and it's cool. We still have so much to catch up on, but it was nice after so many years to be able to just chat it up and feel like the old times, you know, like you're going back in time, but in the future, if that makes sense. That probably doesn't make sense. But we went to On Border, we shared a drink. I had, of course, my whiskey sour and he had beer that was called Stardust, I think it is. Space Dust? Space Dust. That was a pretty cool time. <laughs> Stuck maybe? Don't worry, I have another one for you. Maybe look. Okay. Hi. Say hi. Give me a second. Hey. UPS delivery person. 
<laughs> anyway, hello, it's a new day, and today I am going to make a reel. I'm gonna make a couple reels, but one of my two new jackets. I'm gonna kind of show you because it is kind of hard to show you with one hand. So, this is one of them. You have to go on my Instagram to see it. Okay, that's still kind of hard to see. I have one like this in like a cream color like an oatmeal color, whatever color you want to call it. But this is one super fuzzy. I saw this one, I was like, oh my gosh, I really, really want one. And then this, this one right here. Oh, I love this jacket. When I first saw it, I was like, oh my God, this is so cute. It has like Sherpa on the inside. So nice. That's what I'm up to on this day today. Yeah, this jacket is so warm. I mean, look at the inside, it's Sherpa, but it's like thick. Okay. Party beavers, just kidding. This is the little gel packs, gel packs. I'm almost debating taking this to the game. Oh, you're probably like, the game, what? Okay, so Friday, we're going to a hockey game, which I'm excited. If you've attended a hockey game, then you know it's freezing in there, depending. If you go to a bigger arena, it's not as cold. It depends where you sit as well. But anywho, it's gonna be cold where we're going because it's a smaller arena. And I'm thinking this might be the perfect fit. The perfect fit. I mean, not fit, but like, I don't really know what I meant by fit, but this would be perfect to take and not be cold. But I kind of have an outfit picked out already that I want to use and it has to do with like my LA Kings gear, even though we're not going to Kings game, but we're going to their affiliate team, Ontario Reign. I kind of want to sport the colors. Decisions, decisions. But uh, I'm actually going to try on that outfit right now and see what it looks like. This is supposed to be reversible, but the tag on the outside, I'm not so sure if I want to be wearing that on the outside. This is the tag I'm talking about. It's that kind of material, but can you imagine like that just hanging out on the back of your neck? I don't think it will look bad. It's just interesting. Maybe it's meant to be like that. I don't know. I gotta look more into that. But I look like I'm ready to go skiing on a snowboarding trip, even though I've never been to either. 2023, I'm making that happen for myself. So if you snowboard, if you ski or something, hit me up. If you're in California. I don't know. I've never been. I need to go with somebody that knows what they're doing. Cause obviously, well, I mean, I guess, if you're a beginner too, but you work with other people that... Okay, anyways, I'm talking too much. But point is, 2023, I'm making it happen for myself. And I'm probably gonna be wearing this because I look stylish and ready for the snow. Or even just a snow trip, but I'm gonna wear this because it is so warm. I love it. I just feel like a giant, warm, cozy teddy bear is hugging me. Even just having it up against my body like this as I'm putting it back in its plastic shoe, it's so freaking warm. Like I feel it so warm on my body. And I love that because it keeps you warm. So now I'm gonna have to find a reason to wear this. And just like that, I am done with filming what I had to film. I did a couple of reels where I like spread some positivity and do motivational videos. Those fill my heart with so much joy, just as much as the ones where like I'm showing off my outfit because I love doing that, just kind of like this one. This is what I'm planning on wearing. You can't really see it too well. I'll show it better to you right now. I'm so excited for the game tomorrow. I am so excited. It's gonna be awesome. My sisters, my nephews, and my niece are gonna go. My mom's going, my best friend Tony's going. Why did I say it like that? Tony. My best friend Tony's going. It's gonna be a grand old time. It's gonna be fun. My niece is gonna be performing at halftime, so that'll be exciting too. I finished filming, now I'm gonna make some food because I am hungry. And I think I'm gonna make, I'm falling again. I think I'm going to make some burger. I meant to say a burger, because there's only one. Because usually I'll be like, I'm gonna make burgers and fries, but I just can only make one. I only have one pair of buns. <laughs> Well, I have a pair, but okay, this is just, this is just silly. Got that done, now it's time to eat. Oh, let me show you my swaggy. Well, this is gonna be kind of hard. You can't, you can't really see it. So I've got like a hoodie underneath, which is my King's hoodie. Then I got my LA King's jersey underneath. And then I got this denim jacket. And then I got my joggers and my white shoes. Shout out to Esmeralda, by the way, who sent me these. These are so pretty. Look how beautiful they're opening up. Look at the sun. Look at you looking how beautiful. Oh, girl. Do you just see how beautiful they're opening up? My goodness gracious. You guys are so beautiful. I love that. <gasps> There's three oranges outside. We should probably go get those. Saving the first one. Oh, man. It's eaten. You know who ate this? The squirrel. On to saving the second one. Let's see if it's open. <gasps> oh, no. It's rotten. Rotting. And the third one. I think this one should be good. Yeah. I changed into a little something more comfortable. Not that what I was wearing was not comfortable, but like I don't really like to wear my like going out clothes because then I get it dirty, especially if I'm doing stuff around the house. If you regularly watch me on here, then you'll have seen the vlog where I mentioned that I switched my dogs over to a primal raw food diet. Right now I'm drying my processor 
parts because I just made my dog some food, which at some point I have to remember to record that. Tomorrow I have to portion out more of their food because I set up their food for like four days at a time. You'll get to see that. Maybe I'll insert now as I'm talking. Here is what I'm feeding this time around. It changes quite often and I've got some food prepared for the girls. We've got sweet potatoes, ground bison, chicken, brain and kidney in there. This one needs 13 more grams of veggie. This is their menu this week. This one's got all ground bison and this has chicken and bison. So, you know, variety. Every day is a process. I'd rather every day blend it up for them instead of freezing it and then having to thaw it out and all that. So far right now, that's what's been working for me. It's a nice little system that I got going on. I'm gonna continue to do that for the time being. I mentioned that because as I'm drying things, I walk over to my phone and I'm like, ooh, I got a Poshmark notification. Yeah, at the beginning, saw that I was packaging a package because I made a sale. I made another one. And I'm so excited, it makes me happy, it makes me jump for joy. These are stuff that I've literally bought like a long time ago, brand new things. It was a beanie that got purchased and the person made an offer and I was like, okay, fine. Look at that cutie just sent me a a dirty floor. Oh, you're so cute. Why are you over here looking like a statue, Mapes? Maple, look at the mess you've got. And then finally, the time came to get my tire changed out. Of course, I had to get the donut, which I have only thankfully used one other time in my life, if I'm remembering correctly, which was when my tire decided to explode on me, which was scary, but I'm not trying to think about that anymore. Actually, in this car. It was in my rear passenger side that had happened. Actually, there is a vlog out there of that time when it happened, so. But it felt so good to finally get that switched out, seriously. I just kept telling myself the repair to get the nail out is gonna be the perfect spot where I can actually get it patched up. It's not gonna be bad. And the guy took the tire out. I was like looking for it. I was like, how the heck did that even happen? It's crazy that these things happen, right? I had already done a little bit of research. I had mentioned to him, I hope this is repairable. He's like, oh yeah, it's repairable, it's fine. Because a lot of places, for instance, with my mom, literally had this giant nail in the same area. Mine was like a piece of metal that was, honestly, I don't know. My mom's was like right in between the treading and they upsold her a tire. And I always tell my mom, let's look for a different place so that you can go and get it patched up. Where she went, they pretty much told her, it's not fixable, we should just get a new tire. Point is, sorry, I like to do my research and go to places like this place that I found on Yelp. So the plan of action was call the insurance company, get the donut on my car, load up my tire into my trunk, and then find the tire shop to patch it up and put it back on. In that order, it went pretty well up until this point right here where the guy was like, okay, we just need to add some air to the spare tire. I'm calling it a donut. <laughs> no, it's not because I want donuts right now. Although that does sound good. I have been thinking about donuts a lot. I'm trying to stay away from them. Try it. So he said my spare was very low. It had to be 60, but he said to just fill it up to 55. His air compressor failed right there on the spot. Oh, it's dead. Here we go, my beautiful little dirty room. She's a dirty girl. I gotta wash her. Look at how indented it was from sitting. Oh, well, I'm dirty. I mean, it's a good tire. We literally had gotten them not too long ago. He said we could patch it. Really cool guy, by the way. And this is what she's looking like now, but she needs air. So I gotta drive very slowly to the gas station to put some air in it. Long story short, I had to go to the gas station to fill it up and I did that. Then we were on our way to the tire shop. Getting service to me. Very nice people. I had asked him to check if my right tire was low, and he went around the whole entire car. He was like, Yeah, sure, no problem. And we were good to go in about 15 minutes or less. The best part, it was only $15. I was excited. They had good reviews on Yelp, and I was just thankful that I found them. So, if you're in the Inland Empire and you are ever in need of a patching of a tire or anything else that has to do with that, I can only vouch for patching of a tire. Check out that place. It's called Pacific Tire. It's on Holt. And if you are part of the Inland Empire, you know exactly what I'm talking about. She is good as new. My car tire is good as new. We out here grabbing some sun. Little maples out here. Little Bella's out here. And little Tiki is here too. You're so sweet. You're such a sweet girl, huh? Yes. Yes, you are. We're just getting some sun. Mm, feels so good out here. We actually just went to the store to go buy our neighbor. A little small gift, some flowers and some scratchers because it's her big 77. She's widowed lives alone. She has a stray cat right now that one of our other friends feeds and they kind of baited her over to her house so that she could house the poor cat she was gonna be giving birth. It's been this whole thing. She finally had her kittens, five of them. We don't even know if there's more. That was yesterday that we just seen it. They're so cute. So, so cute. We wanted to stop by and give her those flowers and her scratchers, but she wasn't home. 
Oh, and also to see the kittens and see how everything's going. But or the cat, the mama cat. The mama cat's so pretty. Beautiful colors. Those kittens are gonna be so so pretty. I finally got the tire changed out. The guy that came over to do it, he was really cool. He was really awesome. He was talking to me about how he wanted to make videos and put them up, and how he wanted to talk about the things that his mom taught him and his siblings. And one thing he brought up was the fact that his mom would sit them all around a round table and they would read to each other and they would talk to each other, and she instilled in them the importance of communication. And so like that resonated with me because I'm always one for saying communication is everything. Communication is key communication is so important and a lot of us lack communication and the ability to communicate with others in many more ways than one hearing that was really cool it was really awesome and i also finally found the dr pepper strawberries and cream i've been wanting to do a taste test on instagram of that and i also got myself some gum <laughs> okay because it was two for three are you eating grass <laughs> you look like a little goat or like a little sheep in the freaking random spot and also i got myself a scratcher i've been wanting to get one for a while and i had put ten dollars in the machine and it doesn't give you change back so i got one for myself and one for my mama and the other one's what we got for donna we'll see what i get and then it was game day well actually it was the same day that i went to go do all that with the tires and everything i think from here on out i actually was talking about what i was doing and all that you'll probably see me at the very end to say adios amigos and we'll see you there We're on our way to the hockey team because, I mean, to the hockey game because Harmony is going to perform. So it's Harmony, Isaiah. I don't give consent. Tony's to my, on. <laughs> <laughs> but, but yet you're waving, you little weirdo. And then my sister's over here driving us. I guess I give consent. And then we've got a car behind with my sister and the boys and my mom and Harmony's eyeballs. I think Harmony got stopped from all her pins. Oh yeah, it was all the pins, huh? Got something to shoot. He's smuggling something to shoot. I'm just kidding. We got VIP right now. Yeah. We got, okay. We're so VIP, we're not even going through the main entrance. Uh, exactly, that's VIP. We got VIP access. This is where the players come in. All through down here. This is where your so, mom comes in. Yeah, actually she did. <laughs> she did, she did. She did. <laughs> that's cool. We're gonna VIP access. Hey ma'am, can you please not tell me? We're gonna get me caught. <laughs> Yeah, there, there you go, there you go. Oh, I, wow. What's the world like from here? You can see all the ants. Yeah, exactly. You can see all their face you features. Know, you always see the eucalyptus leaves. We always see the ants. You know what I mean? So. Like it touches sky. Yeah, exactly. Diamonds. Diamonds. The clouds. Is that up in the clouds? Oh, oh, I want to be you. We're going in. Look at the Zambonis. And over here. Awesome. That's where the players come out. Look, you guys, if we were famous, this is what we'd be going through, the backstage. We'd just be going through. You know how many famous people have probably walked through here? What are you doing? What is that? Imagine if you were coming at your level, and imagine if you had to de arriba. And we're in. The whole line of us. Keep your friends close and your pizza closer. That's my kind of sign. The only thing we have to fear is lack of pizza. That is exactly what I'm talking about. We're headed now, we're headed. Section 203. <laughs> one is mine, one is mine. We are out. How do you feel about tonight's game? Disappointed. Suck. Depressed. All you can see are my eyebrows. 
<laughs> we're getting escorted. We just finished our show. We're getting escorted out we because they just started to fight. <laughs> no, fight no, we're supposed to be the talent. Oh, know? yeah, yeah. No, we're we talent, just man. performed yeah, a very we're, long We're very exhausted. We're they getting, gave me this blanket. We're getting walked over to. Um, Sorry, we're not the talent. <laughs> we're, getting, we're getting walked to our tour bus right now. And, you know, this is our entourage back there. Just, this is my son. That's Tony's little penguin scarf. <laughs> Kept them warm. The little pig. Yeah, you see? There you go. Fashion. Fashionista. Getting the best of it, you know? Get a boy, get it. Oh, there's a tour bus. Our tour bus, we're getting, like, we're getting, we just had to walk because the they don't want us to get blood clots, you know? <sighs> okay. That's cool. That game needs to say was fun, but the experience was super awesome to go backstage at the game. Since my niece and her dance studio was performing, we got the experience of the VIP backstage, which was freaking awesome it was so cool it literally felt like we were talent there was a lot of us but it was just cool just to like get that like backstage experience and it, it was really cool oh but ontario rain did horrible that night they got zero to a fairly new if i'm not mistaken team from coachella valley they got pummeled i think the score was like five zero something like that point is we had absolutely none and that's not like the rain i know everybody has off days but that one was like a super negative off day because <laughs> And it was my sister and my nephew's first game ever. I was like, come on, score a goal for the boys so they can experience the siren going up and everybody cheering and the fun and the replay. But maybe next time. And after the game, Tony and I went to party some more. Woo, party animals. We ended up at Lazy Dog to get some drinks and some apps, some appetizers. Of course, you know me, I got my whiskey sour. And Tony got, he got a Casamigos and... I think they had Sprite it was because they didn't have beats me. He also got cheese curds which were tasty and then he was like oh you know what's really good it's like street corn style fries so yeah and those are good too and after that we drove around we were just talking till like two in the morning and it was just a good time it just reminded me of old times like this is what we would always do we would go out to eat and we would just hang out and just talk and reminisce and yeah <laughs> I had to come to Starbucks, of course. Are we getting Starbucks too, too? What is Starbucks? Oh, my drink. Look what I got. Banana bread. Maple. Oh, yeah. Scratch that ear, girl. We like coming out here to soak up some sun. You are so cute, my baby. Look at Moisa. Tell me, Cochita Lina. Nothing. Nothing. And that brings us to the very end where I end this video. And I tell myself next time I have to do better at filming in the moment, talking about what's happening in the moment, rather than just picking up the camera, filming it, and then having to make up for it later. At least you got to see my fresh face today. Next time we'll tackle it. Yeah, not bad of a week, huh? Gosh, I wonder what these people are actually think. I love you, Tootie. Oh, there's another little dog over there. If you're not already following me, make sure you follow me on Instagram. That's where I'm on the absolute most. If you would like to see more of me, check me out on there. And hey, where are you going? Don't go anywhere. There's two videos on the screen that are suggested for you. So I will see you there. And remember, if there's one thing that I want to call in mind, there are actually three. No matter the highs, the lows, always be sure, always be certain to do good. Be grateful and stay humble. Bye.